This is another example of a probability distribution, but this time we want to use the range rule of thumb to figure out which values are not significant. We want to find the range of values that are not significant. So it says the accompanying table describes results from groups of 10 births from 10 different sets of parents. The random variable x represents the number of girls among 10 children. Use the range rule of thumb to determine whether one girl in 10 births is a significantly low number of girls. So using the range rule of thumb, what we need is the mean and the standard deviation. So we have to find out what the mean and standard deviations are for this probability distribution. So let's go ahead and open this up in StatCrunch. And now to find the mean and standard deviation, we go to Stat, Calculators Custom, Values, this is our random variable x, and then the weights is the probability, and we click on Compute. And now we have our mean, and we have our standard deviation. So now for this one, it's asking us to round to one decimal place value. So I'm going to round my mean and my standard deviation to one decimal place. Okay, so we have a mean. <coughs> So we have a mean of 5.1 and a standard deviation of 1.7. Okay, so now we have to figure out what the range is for the values that are not significant. Well, using the range rule of thumb, we have to find out which values would be considered significantly high and which values would be considered significantly low. So in order to do that, we have the mean plus two times the standard deviation, this will give us values that are significantly high. So I have 5.1 plus two times 1.7. This is gonna give us 5.1 plus 3.4, which gives us 8.5. So 8.5 girls and higher or more, that would be considered a significantly high number of girls. So now we find out which values would be considered significantly low? Well, now we have the mean minus two times the standard deviation. So I have 5.1 minus two times 1.7. This will give me 5.1 minus 3.4. Okay, so 5.1 minus 3.4. This gives us 1.7. So 1.7 girls lower or lower will be considered a significantly low number of girls. So now let's go back to the homework problem. Let me open that up real quick. Let's get rid of this one, okay. All right, so first problem, First part of the problem, it says the maximum value in this range is, so the maximum value would be the one that would be considered significantly high number of girls, which was 8.5. And then the minimum value in this range would be 1.7. Okay, so now it's asking, based on the result, is one girl in 10 births a significantly low number of girls? Explain. Well, we figured out the range, so anything between 1.7 girls and 8.5 girls, that would not be considered significant. Well, since 1 is lower than 1.7, that would be considered a significantly low number of girls. So let's take a look at which one makes the most sense. So we know it's yes, we know it's a significantly low number of girls. So one girl is a significantly low number of girls because one girl is above the range of values. Well, no, it's not above the range of values. It's below the range of values. So it would be answer choice B.